Hi, I'm Maithiri Venkateshwaran. I'm going to do a series of videos that are specifically meant to help teachers. There has been a request from some English teachers on how to teach clauses. And I think we need to begin at a much more fundamental level in order for children to learn to differentiate between clauses, phrases, sentences, etc. So, like I said, special playlist only for teachers of English who want to teach and also for parents, of course, who want to teach their kids English grammar. To teach and understand clauses, sentences and phrases, I think basically a child needs to understand the difference between a finite verb and a non-finite verb. The problem is in primary school, when we introduce children to verbs for the first time, we just use the word action word. We say all words that show action are verbs. And that is where the confusion begins. Even at that stage, if you don't want to use technical words like finite verbs and non-finite verbs, I remember what I had done with my own daughter when she was a child was, I told her, these are real verbs and these are pretend verbs. So you try to explain the difference between a finite verb and a non-finite verb at the very start. And whether you want to use those technical words or not, it's entirely up to you. Now, what do we mean by finite and non-finite verbs? We know that gerunds, participles, both present and past, and infinitives can fool children into believing that they are verbs, but they are actually not. So how do we show them the difference? We tell them real verbs always show tense and always change their form to match the subject. For example, in the sentence, she likes to read at night. Reading is an action, but to read in that sentence is not really a finite verb. It's an infinitive and therefore a non-finite verb. So we ask the children to try and identify the real verb, which is likes. Why is it the real verb? Because if we had to say they, then it would become like. If we had to say uh, we, then it would become like. If we had to say he, it would still be likes. And if we were talking about something that he used to do earlier, it would perhaps be he liked to read. So this word like is an action that changes form with the subject and shows tense. But then to read, which is a non-finite verb, does not change with the subject and does not show tense. It remains the same for everything. They like to read at night. They used to like to read at night. They are liking reading at night. That's not a correct sentence anyway, but just to give you an example. So to read remains constant. Similarly, she threw a coin into the wishing well. Wishing might be an action, but over here the real verb is through. Wishing is a participle. Yes, so again, a pretend verb, a real verb. Finite verb, non-finite verb. The team is playing on Friday. Playing by itself, pretend verb, non-finite. Is playing the real verb. So is, are, am, was, were, have, had, all these we need to drill into kids right at the very start are always real verbs or finite verbs. In continuation, the next video a little later. For now, bye.